Hi and welcome to City Beat. I hope you're looking forward to our stories. I'm your host, Kagong. Let's check today's headlines first. This week on City Beat, these fresh local designers set out with passion and ambition in a fashion world full of challenges. Lifestyle Beat steps out in style when Huawei takes a hands on approach to the art of making shoes. And Shanghai welcomes a two star Michelin chef for the first time. See what he has created on City Beat. Some ambitious local graduates of a fashion design academy challenge convention by starting their own studios. Before achieving success, they will face many obstacles in the cutthroat fashion industry. Let's watch these rising talents lead the future of Shanghai fashion. From designing and drafting to pattern making and tailoring, Vincent Zhou, a graduate of IFA Paris Shanghai, spent ten sleepless nights on his graduate project. One month later, at the school's first graduation show, his dress stood out among the rest, and Vincent was awarded the top prize for his perfect tailoring. It was a nice way to end a difficult process. However, on the journey to becoming a master designer, it might just be the beginning. Actually,这个想法我自己做，做工作室呢，是一直有这个想法。然后我在这个三三四年的学习的过程中呢，其实我中间一直是在外面，一直在帮人家设计设计衣服啊什么的。然后从以前工作的那个公司，一两个月以后
他就穿了，穿了以后就是他穿的时候，然后很多朋友问他这个衣服哪里买的，然后他就告诉我是，告诉他们是我帮他们设计的，就这样。那我觉得那那时候我我会比较比较开心一点。While in her early 20s, Shen Wenting, Vincent's fellow graduate, has already set up her own studio with two other classmates. They design wedding gowns and evening dresses especially for young, white-collar ladies. Their customers can enjoy their designs in a private and intimate environment. 相对来说，如果直接做工作室的话，会压力会大一点。那么，最好是我觉得。你毕业以后能够在一两年以内做比较好，去比较好的品牌，去做助理，然后做设计师，然后再有机会自己做。我觉得这个是比较流畅的一条线路。可能当时是一时冲动，但是慢慢的走过来，就觉得慢慢一件件事情自己做以后，觉得虽然很琐碎，但是我觉得不比大公司学到的东西少，还是从头来一步一步的。我们不仅是老板，而且是员工，嗯，所以学到的东西可能比大公司的多。In fact, whether to stay at a big fashion company or start one's own business is a personal choice. But for those who choose the latter, they believe it brings them a step closer to their dreams. The fashion industry is a business, but it requires more creativity and a greater sense of the market than other businesses. These are things they will have to learn on their own. Have you ever dreamed about the perfect pair of shoes? Well, let's join Huawei as she makes that dream a reality. In the story Cinderella, the prince is able to find his bride because of shoes that only fit Cinderella's feet. Well, today I'm the fairy tale princess. Okay, join me as I create my own magical footwear on Lifestyle Beat.